Welcome to today's video where we will be discussing the difference between inferior goods and Jiffen goods. Have you ever wondered why some goods are in higher demand when their prices increase? Let's dive into the fascinating world of economics and find out. Before we delve into the specifics, let's understand what inferior goods are. Inferior goods are products that experience a decrease in demand as consumer income rises. This may seem counterintuitive, but it's a fascinating concept that we'll explore further. On the other hand, Jiffen goods are a rare phenomenon in economics. These are goods that experience an increase in demand as their prices rise. Yes, you heard it right. The higher the price, the higher the demand. Let's uncover the mystery behind Jiffen goods. To understand the difference between inferior goods and Jiffen goods, we need to explore the underlying factors that drive their demand. It's not just about prices and income, but also consumer preferences and behavior. Inferior goods are often associated with substitutes. As consumers' income increases, they tend to switch to higher quality alternatives. This leads to a decrease in demand for inferior goods. Let's take a closer look at this phenomenon. Jiffen goods, on the other hand, defy the traditional laws of demand. They are often staple goods that form a significant portion of a consumer's budget. As their prices rise, consumers may have no choice but to continue purchasing them, leading to an increase in demand. So, why do Jiffen goods behave differently? One explanation is the income effect. As prices rise, consumers may have to allocate a larger portion of their income to these goods leaving less for other purchases. This reinforces the demand for Jiffen goods. In conclusion, inferior goods and Jiffen goods are intriguing concepts in economics. While inferior goods experience a decrease in demand as income rises, Jiffen goods defy the norm and see an increase in demand as prices rise. Understanding these phenomena helps us grasp the complexities of consumer behavior and market